YouTube, we got Nick here today. Uh, he wanted to show us his volcanics. It was a fun deck he decided to pilot, and he just wanted to show us his build. Yeah, so I got the build from Jeffrey Torres. He, he's been topping a lot with it. He's really good. Uh, three rockets, it's the best card in your deck. It searches out your reload, which lets you continue your plays and set up for even better things next turn, especially since it's a trap and lets you activate it, but I'll talk more about that later. Uh, she three shells. MVP lets you uh, pay 500 when it's in the graveyard, add one once per turn from your deck to your hand. Just lets you keep plussing with uh, the reload so that you draw another card and continue your plays, move on, and have more back row to set. Oh, and one rocket. They're all secret. One of them is not first dead. Okay, you can mention that, sir. <laughs> Three scattershot. This card puts in so much work. When you send one of them off of uh, the reload, of course, you can... Uh, send the other two and inflict 500 for each one sent, so that's 1500 burn, and you get to destroy their monsters during your during their turn. It's devastating to to stop them in their tracks. Three guards. I love this card. Let you return four pyro monsters in your graveyard back to the deck to draw two cards. It just gives you so much plus and resets everything that you already use. Resets your scatter shots because you send all three at once, so it, it's just easy to get four like no problem. We're playing double Valor. Baylor's too good this format, especially against Necros with their uh, effects of Trishula and Unicorn to stop your extract monsters effects, Valkyrus so they don't tribute. Three duality for consistency. You need to make sure you draw into your rockets, to your back row. We're playing so many continuous cards, and it also helps you draw into planters when you really need them, to, because planter lets you send a continuous trap card to the graveyard to draw two. So it just continues your plays and lets you get deeper into the deck. So Duality is just digging for all your resources. Accelerator is another one, just part of the engine that just makes it flow so fluently. It came out in, I believe, Secrets of Eternity? Something like that. Uh, let's look. Yeah. That's bad. <laughs> SCC, what? So what you can do is you can banish it during your opponent's turn, during the player's main phase. So if they go end the main phase and try to enter the battle phase, you banish it, and you can send a scatter shot to send the other two and destroy their field, and when they enter battle phase, they have no monsters, so they pretty much have to go to main phase two and try to establish a board again. Another great card, loser turn. Oh my god, if I, I wish I could play five of these, they're so good. Uh, when your opponent specials a monster, it's automatically changed to defense if it's in attack position, and it negates all special summon monsters effects for that turn, stops necros in their tracks, stops the Telenites when they try to call the Haunted, it just stops everything. Three Crush, everything's searching nowadays. Uh, Burning Abyss when they reveal their monsters, you get to um, you get to crush it and then they have to discard it and they lose that effect so they can't activate it again. Necros, they search so much with Brionic and Unicorn adds back from Graveyard and Clausalus and all the mirrors that they add. Three Chains, Chain just stops any monsters effects that are happening. So you stop the Trish when it's summoned, the Construct when it's summoned, the Deneb when it's summoned. It just stalls them in their tracks and they have to sit on a monster. Double Mirror Force for quick removal. This deck loses the Pill Force pretty hard. If you before the side, since we don't play any MSTs, we side them all. So this is a quick removal that can bring us back into the game, but it's still a tough uphill battle for that deck, for this deck against that. What are your matchups today? Uh, I have first um, one Klee, one Necros, Yang Zing, one Zetella Knight, and one Yang Zing. And pretty, Mirror Force was the MVP versus Klee Force. It just kept stopped biting me turns. Also D-Prison versus Zetella Knight to try to remove the Deneb, so it forced them to Alpha and end with an awkward field. So that was just one of the, the good cards that I liked uh, warning just a staple negate anything pretty much bottomless banish a Deneb when it's summoned <coughs> banishes pretty much any monster that's 1500 or more just vanities it's a one for a reason you have to play it necros die to it doesn't hurt, hurt Klee Forts of course so it's obviously a dead card there um, so tell knights if they try to call you can chain this Burning Abyss, uh, Shadals when they try to fusion, Torrential, so that you can clear boards again when Clear Force the Pendulum Summon, it all goes back to the extra deck, so you have to combine another turn for yourself and just stall out. And then Jar of Avarice, 
This is like a guards, but it's better because you can recycle any of your spells and traps also. So, I, one time I sent five scatter shots back because I was out of a five, five scatter back, shots. All right. Three scatter shots and two uh, guards so that I could stall a little bit. And I, but my opponent was at a thousand, so I sent them back, and then I had a reload in grace, so I so then I was able to remove the reload and then just burn for game right there. Nice. Side or extra person? Uh, whatever you want. We'll go side. Uh, uh, one Thunder King. Uh, again, you don't search too too much. I normally side out of duality or two just because I want to side in cards that stop searching. So if I stop searching, I don't want to have cards that search myself. Uh, three MSC, this is where they all are. Just, you need to side three for all the rogues and the cleave force, you, that's how you can win. Two mistake, uh, we, I, again, just like Thunder King, I side out dualities, uh, any consistency cards or cards that don't really help the matchup. I side out versus cleaves because of, uh, and then I'll side out the loser turn, so then I, I'll side these in because they only get better with loser turn. It, for us, it doesn't hurt us, but it doesn't help us in that matchup. Two light mirrors for uh, Telenites. I, that deck's really good, and it's something to worry about. Two shadow prisonings for dolls. The Burning Abyss stops all the graveyard effects, and on the field effects, so when the dolls try to flip. Two Imperials. We, we remove a little bit, but not too much that it affects us. Just got to play around. Hope that our resources are better than Necros because they can't remove at that point. And we side the Raigeki. It's not really necessary in the main to clear the board when we have Scattershot to do it for us. It's just good against Klee so that we can clear it and try to poke for some little damage. And then the extra deck, one Emerald, shuffles everything, shuffles three monsters back to draw cards. So you can, if you were to use your Scattershot to turn, throw it back and reset it. Exiton, Blows Field, Staple, Harland Draco. Kind of staple, just to poke for 200 damage and get it in real quick. And Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, the Vol Vol Chain, Karen Gorgon, Rhapsody, Diamond Dyer, Clear Black Rail, Dwelling for Dolls, Castell, just to remove any problem cards like an opponent, Imperial Iron Me, which hurt, which helped him more than it. Then it didn't bother me, so I would use it to remove that. Cowboy to just do the quick 400 burn. Uh, Satellite Constellar Diamond, because I played the Ptolemyus. So you can uh, either make him and then overlay with him, or you can make him and then under, and then put him underneath. And I made, played Dvorak, it won me the feet, like the feature match we did before. It was a troll card. He just and wanted to play it, so I... I just really wanted to play it, because... So he'll had it. It was the best, best card in my opinion. I, and yeah, then Giant Hand. So, Giant Hand you yeah. actually can play, though. Yeah, you I do know. need Giant Hand in the deck. Giant Hand's a staple in anything that could spam rank fours. When did Jeffrey send you the build? He sent this to me a couple weeks ago. He loves vol Jeffrey Torres loves Volcanics. He just plays it all the time. Yeah, he, I think he uh, topped he top Philadelphia Regional yeah. a couple like. Not the one yesterday, yeah, like one two days, ago. Two, not two days ago, two Phillies ago, yeah. yeah. He topped Trap Tricks. Uh, yeah. Okay, so anything you change out of the main side? Um, probably the side. I'd have to look at it more and maybe get his input on what I did versus what he did. Cool. And then actually, should I don't don't actually play this, guys. This was just like a fun card. No, you should play it. It's really good. Trust me, that card wins games. All right, Especially so I'm taking hit, it. I'm when taking you hit it. A Brio and uh, a send you and your opponent set a decree and a random uh, Necro's mirror so that you can just pop them both and your all your back row was live. So you'll see that in the video. All right, well, enjoy. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. We'll be profile. back for more.